So, welcome to day three then of week 11 and we have got races for you today from the UK and also from South Africa. We'll be starting at Newmarket and York in the UK and then we'll be going off to South Africa for races from Fairview Park, Turfontein and Flamingo Park. So, first of all then, let's get underway at Newmarket. The first race there is one of the big handicaps of the season, the second part of the autumn double. It's the Betfred Cesarowicz handicap over two miles and two furlongs and a pretty good looking field in this as well with drum tap for Graham Clutterbuck being the top rated horse on 110 just sneaking in with the top rated but there's a lot in there with good chances plenty of one this season Sinatra for Molly Etz Surfer Blue Final for David Robertson two miles for Derek Hinton Funky Music's got some pretty good form in lower grades and taking the step up today could go close Warrior 1 for Sirius Chill is also another one that's taking a step up in class and could do pretty well and an interesting one right down the bottom Mr Ed for Graham Clutterbuck I'm sure he was talking about that as a Gold Cup horse at one point he seemed to think that that one is well weighted and should win after that we've got two group races the first of which is the Autumn Stakes over a mile for two-year-olds. It's a small field for this. There's only about seven or eight of them. And Revenge of the Pig is the top rated by three pounds from Mrs. Fapian of John Morgan's Drastic Perifor. Darren Thompson and favourite lunchbox will also be warm orders in that, but it's looking like a wide open race and you wouldn't really rule anything out apart from maybe the bottom one, Little Wing, who is taking a major step up in class. The Darley Stakes is next. That's a one mile, one furlong group three and there's a huge field for this. And probably a little bit too big a field really but as it's new market it shouldn't be too much of a problem be straight up that uh, straight up that straight and shouldn't be too many traffic problems they'll probably split into two or maybe even three and Django's got the two top rated horses here sliced bread and silver chair who both look pretty good next sensation for Paul Rhodes has been a little bit disappointing one or two times this season, but one shouldn't be too far away. None they should a long time ago. Lordy Law for Steve Ran also looks well in. So does Twinted, Twinted as well for Steve Ran. That's another one. Wu Chang Gladius for Vinny Gerard. Mighty Bing Tone for Molly. So there's a lot of the top trainers in this who've got two horses. And a lot of them have got two that are very similar in ratings as well. So it should be a very interesting race. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if one trainer didn't manage to get a 1-2 in this so after that we'll be able to york for five races the first one there is the cappuccino handicap a two and a half mile naught to 80 and the form of the horses in this doesn't look particularly brilliant but zoe hippopotamus for graham clutterbuck just sneaks in off the top rating and he'll be hoping that one goes well black car for alex cherry there's another one in with a bit of a chance keys force two gray almost runs reasonably well on spanish stamps for martin and run a really good race for its very first run of the season there's been a big disappointment since the second race at york is the coral mobile three clicks handicap this is a six furlong sprint for three odds upwards naught to 70. warren place the stable star for mayor's ad mystery going for a three timer in this and gets a gets a pound in weight from call over from Alex Cherry as well. Trust keyboard for Stu Gray's normally there or thereabouts. Jurex milk for James Follis is fast becoming his stable star and will be looking to follow up after last week's win. So the Coral App handicap is the second race at York. This is the Coral app for your phone and not Coral Apprentices. And it's a one mile six furlongs, 0 to 75. Queen King for Darren Howes is the top rated, and he always does well in these long distance races, doesn't he? Bryce made for Martin Leader was a winner last week. We'll be hoping that one can follow up again against the odds for James Follis, another one who does well in these long distance races. But Graham Clutterbuck is always, always one to keep an eye on in these. So too is Derek Hinton, and they're both represented with Spider's Web and Patty Beat. In the Yorkshire T condition stakes, this is a really low rated race, 0 to 65, mile and a half. And we've somehow managed to get quite a few previous winners in it though, so they always have been winning at really low grades. Mr. Loud for Darren Howes is top rated on 65, and he won last time out and has also been second. Hither Green was the winner last time out for Stu Gray, and Boppin is a two times winner in the last four races for Stu Gray, so some brown envelopes been going the way, a serious chill from one or two people here but he's got his in off top weight as well on 65 throw into the mix there you've got boys back in town for graham clutterbuck and tudor queen for graham clutterbuck both of whom were third last time out looks like it could be quite a competitive race with plenty in there with chances and i would think one or two of them might be getting up into the 0 to 75 bracket soon the york stakes is next that's a one mile one furlong event for two-year-olds and the hurricane for joshua sutherland is a top rated one here dan dare for darren howells also looks to be a particularly good two-year-old for him cheeky monkey for Django's in there as well but gillen looks the one to look at here winner two races ago an unlucky second last week looks like he could be in with a chance again today then we're off to south africa where i'm sure tim will 
be available to do the commentaries and it's the listed ladies slipper stakes first of all it's a one mile event the, the going there is heavy so that could cause one or two problems bad penny for django looks to be in there with a bit of a chance tim's actually got some runners this week i think now baytown cloud looks like it's going to make his debut on its home track and then tusk for marty Leum's in there as well northern play for serious chills a previous win the form doesn't look that good to say it's a listed race and it could be wide open there but my money i think would be on velez bay court for darren thompson who seems to do well in this type of race <laughs> the second race at fairview is the racing it's a rush handicap over nine furlongs not to 90 this time once again the form's nothing that spectacular middleton sunrise for alex cherry is one of the few that's had a decent win in its last few runs and i'm sure he'll be hoping that, that one will go close again mobilized for serious chills looks like it might be running into some sort of form and Heimke, if it can get a big lead could be difficult to peg back then we'll be off to Turfontaine for a six furlong group three the spring spree grade three stakes and there's just the six of them in this jing jang jugis or ying yang yugis or however we're going to say it for vinnie gerard he's liable to be pretty well fancy to take this joshua sutherland's baseline booms has also got a bit of a chance he seems to be running into form lately joshua sutherland burst at the end of the season to try and secure that dcc cup it's number 36 for the week is the second at turf on Tain, and that's the aviation brokers handicap 0 to 70 this time and king town phillips is a top rated one here and that one nicely three races ago i'm sure Darren will be hoping that one will win again. Mo 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 for Stu Graham. Gold is green for Carl Arrogante. Probably both end up running in the same colours. Could also go pretty close. And looking down the card, Born on Venus could give Alex Cherry a good run as well. And also, all out of love for James Follis is probably about due a win. Then for the final two races of the week, we'll be off to Flamingo Park. And we've got a five furlong nought to 100 to kick things off there. And the top rated one here is Powerful Steps for Molliette's surfer that was a good winner last time out but woohoo bebo for vinnie gerard was also a recent winner sissy sarcina for vinnie gerard was a good third and loud as for darren thompson has got four figures of four five three so that one's probably due a win wishful secret for carl arrogante also looks pretty good as well and there's plenty in there with chances in that one the final race of the week is the flamingo cup it's a low rated cup race from 0 to 70 and 10 furlongs is the trip here and leaf erickson sneaks in off 70 and it's got some pretty good form might well be a pretty good bet for that but princess cookie also looks to be pretty good so too does sandy madness for Stu gray and much mansell for james follis is in there as well serious chills in there with crossroads and it could be a wide open end two the day then the final race of week 11 and enjoy the racing then i think you've got tim and mike on the microphone duties today and i'll see you all next week